السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Welcome brothers and sisters to day number nine <coughs> We ask <coughs> We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to accept from us our fasting and our qiyam we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive our sins, to free our necks from the fire, and to make us among those who will succeed in this dunya and the akhirah. Allahumma ameen. Today, bi idhnillah Azza wa Jal, a very beautiful and much uh, recited, often recited dua of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Something that we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for to keep our himma or to keep our zeal for the deen going. And this dua gives us the balance in the Muslim's life. Balance between hope and fear. Hoping to enter Jannah, which then encourages us to do good deeds and fearing the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which then uh, prevents us from uh, sins. So both of these are very important. So the dua is in uh, uh, dua is two portions <clears throat> and you memorize it in four portions. <clears throat> Bismillah. اللهم إني أسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها Oh Allah, I ask you for Jannah and everything that brings me close to it. How beautiful is that? Everything that brings me close to Jannah, everything that brings me close to your pleasure, Ya Allah, I ask you for it. I ask you for it. وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنَ النَّارِ وَمَا قَرَّبَ إِلَيْهَا وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنَ النَّارِ وَمَا قَرَّبَ إِلَيْهَا And I ask you to protect me from the fire and everything that brings me close to it. Jannah is representative of the, uh, of the compassion of Allah Azza wa Jal, of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal, of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fire is representative of the anger and the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And just like the pleasure and the, uh, uh, the happiness <coughs> of Allah Azza wa Jal, leads one to Jannah, the abode of joy forever. Likewise, Allah's anger and His, uh, he, uh, Allah's anger then leads one to the fire, which is the abode of misery. May Allah Azza wa grant us Jannah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the fire haram upon us and may Allah never enter us into the fire. May Allah Azza wa Jal cleanse us in this dunya before we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ameen. But my brothers and sisters, cleansing the soul requires a lot of effort day and night through the salah, through the Quran, through uh, adhkar, remembering Allah Azza wa Jal, through... Um, uh, uh, you know, doing a lot of worship for Allah Azza wa Jal, seeking knowledge. Um, <clears throat> this is why I recommend taking the Tazkiyah 101 course on our channel. It will help a lot, bi'idhin Azza wa Jal. So constantly cleansing one's soul um, and developing it, bi'idhin Azza wa Jal, to make it uh, ready for Jannah and uh, to forbid this soul from uh, entering the hellfire because the more 
good deeds we do the more des- the uh, i mean the uh, we don't become deserving of jannah but the more closer we are to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure and jannah and the more sins we commit the you know closer we will be to the fire so this um constant struggle of cleansing the soul cleansing the soul to make it do good deeds uh, and uh, if there's any corruption in the soul and there's any uh, tainting of the soul uh, then this also needs to be cleansed throughout right <clears throat> both sides need you know the salah and the quran and the adhkar and seek knowledge about the deen of allah azza wa jalla all this will help us a lot may allah azza wa jalla make it easy wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh